Shalom Yasharala, peace Israel. Kahalayim la, Alahayanawa, Yehawa, Bahasham, Yehawa Shah, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. All praise to our power, Yehawa, Bahasham, Yehawa Shah, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect, Shalom. Shalom to the elect of Israel. This is going to be another update of the mark of the beast is indeed the RFID chip or NFC chip or brain chip neural implant okay now I came across this article it really stood out to me and you're gonna see why because there's always a lot of news moving across the web dealing with the MOTB but certain things stick out alright now this is on the hill.com there's an article entitled Small Company Beats Elon Musk Neuralink in a Race to Test Brain Chips in Humans. So what we see is Revelation 12 and 12. The devil coming down with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. So Edom is moving quick. He's moving quick. And as you Akiam Wa'akwaf have been paying attention to, you see that the Maxine also known as the jab, also known as the juice. You know, brothers have a myriad of names for this thing. You know, Vanessa, got that from Ayasha Moff. You know, hey, this thing is going to be mandatory. All right, Vanessa, the thing, all right, is going to be mandatory. It's already mandatory, you know, for workers in certain states. But they're going to make it mandatory, period, for every citizen in the uh, U.S. OK, and for everyone worldwide, because remember, it's a one world order, but it's a thing called gradualism. So it's starting off with Vanessa, you know, with the dart. It's starting off with that. But eventually it's going to be this right here. The chip. Whether in your your, uh, your right hand or your left hand or on your forehead. OK, so let's read this small company beats Elon Musk Neuralink in race to test brain chips in humans. And the company's called Synchron. Which should remind you of synchronicity or things being synchronized. OK, matter of fact, let me get the definition. For the word synchronize. Because names are not a coincidence. It's a reason why these different companies are given these names. Now it says to cause to occur or operate with the exact coincidence in time or rate. Now, let's see. There's another one I wanted. And it speaks about everything happening around the same time period. Now, this is what I want right here. Definition number two. It says to operate in unison. To operate in unison. So things becoming one. Things becoming one. All right. Everything moving together. All right, that's all we need. So the company's called Synchron. And you know what? Dealing with this chip, that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to make everything move together, everything and everyone. Okay? You're going to be a part of the grid, a part of the beast. Now, let's read this. Synchron has received FDA approval to kick off an early feasibility study of its brain-computer interface implant in humans in the U.S., Okay, so they got a, a video here. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk claims one of his startups has wired up a monkey's brain so it can play video games with its mind. 
Musk on Sunday said his company Neuralink put a wireless implant in a monkey's brain. Musk said, quote, you can't even see where the neural implant was put in except that he's got a slight like dark mohawk. Musk added, quote, okay, and that's old. That's old news. But as we can see, a company called Synchron has surpassed Neuralink. Okay, so let's read through this story at a glance. The study will start later this year at Mount Sinai Hospital with six human subjects. It will examine the safety and efficiency of its motor neuroprosthesis in patients with severe paralysis. And you notice it always starts off with people that have paralysis. All right, they even showed you in the movie Upgrade. All right, the one Edomite was paralyzed and he got that chip implanted in his spine. He was able to walk again. All right. And you, and you have actual real life examples of this as well. OK. Now, say Synchron is hoping the device will allow patients to use brain data to control digital devices and achieve improvements in functional independence. Right. So you're going to see that for a lot of people that um that have different ailments that disable them. Once again, you have paralysis, you know, people that are paralyzed. You have people that are mute. They can't talk. You know, scriptures call it dumb. So, you know, people can't speak. But they're going to be able to perform miracles by way of this chip. You know, people that can't, you know, move their hands. Once again, you know, being paralyzed, their hands are paralyzed. Well, they'll be able to move their hands, you know, move their fingers. Now, it says a, a small company developing an implantable brain computer interface to help treat conditions like paralysis have received the go ahead from the Food and Drug Administration to kick off clinical trials of its flagship of its flagship device later this year. New York, New York based Synchron announced Wednesday it has received FDA approval to begin an early feasibility study of its stentrode implant later this year at Mount Sinai Hospital with six human subjects. The study will examine the safety and efficiency of its motor neuroprosthesis in patients with severe paralysis with the hopes the device will allow them to use brain data to control digital devices and achieve improvements in functional independence. Patients begin using the device at home soon. Let me read that again. Patients begin using the device at home soon after implantation and may wirelessly control external devices by thinking about moving their limbs. The device is designed to facilitate better communication and functional independence for patients by enabling daily tasks like texting, emailing, online commerce, and accessing telemedicine, the company said in a release. Once again, gradualism. Because they're going to make this available for everyone soon. Once it's, you know, viewed as, uh, as safe and efficient. Well, I mean, they're going to open the market up. And very soon they're going to make it mandatory anyway. You know, so it's going to be a thing where they want you to have it. It's going to begin with volunteers, you know, people basically offering themselves up to get it. But then it's going to be everyone, man. You know, and the fact that you're going to be able to do these different things, people are going to see it as cool. All right. Convenient. Synchron got the nod from the FDA ahead of Elon Musk Neuralink, which is developing similar technology. So you notice everyone is in a race to fulfill Edom's NWO. Cause that's what it's all about. Okay. Neuralink most recently demonstrated how a monkey with the company's implant could play a video game using only signals from its brain. Unlike Neuralink's device, Synchron's implantation procedure is much less invasive. It is delivered to the brain through blood vessels in a two hour procedure similar to how stents are inserted into the heart. Other brain computer interfaces under development currently involve drilling into the skull and placing needle electrodes directly into brain tissue. And that's what Neuralink is attempting to do. Okay. 
which the average person not going to be down with that. So Edom is going to have to figure out another way to do it. Synchron says such an invasive procedure can result in long term brain inflammation, an issue that has posed a challenge for moving into human trials. Four human patients in Australia have already received Synchron's implant as part of a separate clinical trial. So people already got it. The company published a study detailing how two patients were able to control devices to text and type. So that's far greater than what Elon Musk is doing. You know, with a monkey having a brain chip playing video games. So you see this thing is moving. Now it says they eventually use the technology at home to send text messages, shop online and manage finances. According to the study, this all by way of a brain chip. And we're not wooed. We're not amazed by these miracles, but you just see the reality. We see the reality. OK. Synchron's North Star is to achieve whole brain data transfer. Synchron CEO Thomas Oxley said in a statement. Our first target is the motor cortex for treatment of paralysis, which represents a large unmet need for millions of people across the world and market opportunity of 20 billion dollars, he said. Yeah, so it's all about money. But at the end of the day, it, you know, this money system is going to be replaced by this anyway. And let's get it. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So very soon, it's not going to be optional. It's going to be mandatory. Okay? Just like you see it with the jab. Okay? With the small sword. Just like that's some, a, uh, an optional thing. Okay, or you can volunteer, but you see how it swiftly moved to being mandatory. Okay? For, for example, you have in New York and California, and they're moving to other states. Okay? If you're an employee, it's being made mandatory, and it's going to be made mandatory, period. All right, whether you work or not. So with that, we see this thing moving. Right now is Vanessa. Very soon it's going to be that chip. Okay, so standing the prophecies is keeping us ahead of the time because it's going to come to pass, man. So with that, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom.